What's up, everybody? You're tuned in to another edition of the Pink Stat Shop. I'm your man, Mr. Pink. Yes, I am him. And we still have not played our first baseball game. We're going to talk to one of the players and see how he feels about the game getting canceled. Oh, yeah. And Mike Tyson actually is going to be fighting a baby. And we're going to look at some of the NFL teams and see which one's got a steal on free agency. And March Madness is here, baby. Let's go. Get those brackets ready. So we begin with 2.0, where one of my sons actually is upset that his game was canceled. He was ready, y'all. Let's talk to him. Raylan, how do you feel about the game getting canceled? Not good. Not good. I've been practicing a lot, and I've been ready for my first game. Here we go, boys. I definitely have first oh, base back up a little bit. Let's get a hit. Go, Ray, go. Get out of there. What you waiting on? And the 2024 March Madness basketball tournament has begun. All 68 teams have been finalized for the bracket rounds. Everybody playing for the national championship title in the men's and the women's league. We're looking to see how those brackets look in the coming days. And have you heard about the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight? 57-year-old Mike Tyson will battle it out with 27-year-old Jake Paul. A 30-year difference. This photo right here was taken back in the 90s when Jake Paul was just a kid. Mike Tyson actually is seen biting the back of his shirt. He's crying. And like they're going to do today, they're going to have a, a all-out brawl in Dallas where the uh, Cowboys play. The fight is scheduled to make over $300 million. Mike Tyson looking to bring home a payday of more than $20 million. So you know that this is a big fight for Mike because he's been needing some money for a little bit. In the NFL, the free agency period has begun. Teams have picked some players that have going to change their franchise. Starting off with number five, the New York Jets have gotten a backup quarterback for Aaron Rodgers, and that is Tyron Taylor. He's going from one New York team to another. And we got Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley also have left the Giants, and he's going to rivals the Eagles. Tiki Barber actually said on that he was dead to the Giants. Saquon Barkley actually had the deal that he wanted. The Giants wasn't willing to pay him that, so I think he made a great decision in leaving. $37 million over three years, so I think he made a great decision. And the Pittsburgh Steelers now have two quarterbacks that can play the starting role. Russell Wilson, they signed for under a million and something dollars. He gave from the Broncos. They still paying him over there in Denver. And now they traded for Justin Fields to get a six-round pick in uh, the 2025 draft. So they're going to have a battle it out for the QB starting spot. But in reality, Justin Fields is going to be the backup to Russell Wilson, and he'll take over the year after that. Ready to go. And the Buccaneers, yes, we kept uh, Baker Mayfield. We kept Mike Evans. So we're going to go ahead and go for the championship this year because Baker Mayfield actually did pretty good. So he's going to continue that in Tampa Bay. And I like the Super Bowl to come to Baltimore. Derrick Henry have signed a two-year deal worth $16 million dollars with Lamar Jackson by his side to help the rushing game in those AFC championships. So we look forward to that being a great game, but we're going to look forward to the Baltimore Ravens being in the Super Bowl. Let's go. And that'll do it for the Pink Stats Shop. I'm your man, Mr. Pink. Yes, I'm him. And until next time. Until next time. She's still here.